Hey guys, this is Nikita Sivakumari, and today I'm going to be talking about what is DNA. And this is pretty much our starting video of just genetics in general. And so really, what is DNA? It's a very main component of the cell, and it's contained by the nucleus. And so, you know, as usual, we're going to be ta um, starting off with our dictionary basic definition of DNA. So first of all, what does DNA stand for? It stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Acid, not acid, acid. So deoxyribo for D. Here, let me use a different color so you know it stands out against the, the green. So yeah, so the deoxyribo, let me circle the D maybe, and the nucleic N acid. Ooh, okay, can't seem to circle. There. Alright, so the DNA. And so now I think we can go, so that's that's the um, abbreviation of deoxyribonucleic acid. And so let's go ahead and start off with um, the definition. So DNA is hereditary material that, contain, that controls all the activities of the cell. And it contains information on how to reproduce, make protein, and pass on materials during heredity. So now let's go ahead and talk about that. So it contains information on how to reproduce. And we know that cells reproduce by the splitting thing, um, the splitting thing, no, the splitting um, action called mitosis. And so it's the DNA that control, that has all the information and steps on how to do this. And because remember, when the new cell is being made, the two new cell cells um, are me being made, it has to have identical DNA, identical genes and chromosomes. And so it's the DNA that control that has all of that information on how to copy the DNA into the new cell and such. And if you're more interested in, you know, mitosis, um, I did mention before, I am making a video on just the steps of mitosis. Um, because that is actually a very interesting, um, interesting topic. And then um we said that DNA makes protein. And um, in most uh, eukaryotic cells, we know that the DNA is contained by the nucleus. And we know that in the nucleus is the nucleolus, like the tiny little circle right here. And that's what makes ribosomes. And we know that ribosomes make protein. So it's actually the DNA that helps the nucleus make the ribosomes, which in turn makes protein. So that's kind of interesting how it's the DNA that started all of that. And then also deoxyribonucleic acid passes on materials during heredity. So, you know, there's a whole stage when, you know, when a body reproduces. And so it's the DNA that passes on the different traits and genes to the new to the new baby, or the new offspring. That's the that's the correct word. It's it's the. DNA that has all the information on how to pass on um, materials, um, and really, I don't like that word, it should be more like traits or genes during hereditary. So it, it's what passes, you know, passes on traits from parents to offspring, and that's all from the DNA. So obviously the DNA is really important. And um, so that's pretty much we're gonna be, what we're going to be discussing about in this whole topic of genetics. And everything has to do with what is in the DNA. And everything relates to DNA, which is our deoxyribonucleic acid. And so also, um, I'd like to touch just another topic before we move on. And that is, I, um, I remember telling you guys that prokaryotic cells have no nucleus. So how do they function? Well, all cells, no matter what, still have DNA. And it's the DNA that controls all of these activities. And it's the DNA that makes the nucleus the brain. So that means that the cell can still function without a nucleus if it has DNA. So that's, um, that's actually the answer of how prokaryotic cells function. They have DNA. Um, so yeah, that's... Um, so now, what does DNA really look like? Well, it's like the squiggly like the spiral figure with these alternate these alternating lines and there's this whole topic of just the structure of DNA and the actual word for it is the double helix and the double helix 
is also known as just like a twisted ladder. So it's like this like, you know, spiral, the spirally ladder. Um, and that's how DNA looks like. And um, so there's this whole topic of just what, is, what makes up DNA? What makes up these, these tiny little alternating rungs of, of the ladder? And well, what are these sides of the ladder? Is there, you know, and there are all these materials that make DNA up. And um, that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. So hopefully this was helpful and you just have a, you know, a slight idea of what DNA is. And um, so thank you for watching and hopefully this was helpful. Bye!